we want to convert this equation, which is in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, into standard form. Standard form has all of our variable terms on one side. So it's going to be capital AX plus capital BY is equal to C. It's also important that A, B, and C are all integers. So this means that there are no fractions and no decimals. Okay, let's start working on this one. So first of all, I need all of my x's and y's on the same side. So I've got y equals 5x plus 2. Let's subtract the 5x so we can move it to the other side. So minus 5x minus 5x. I need the, the 5x to come first. I need my x terms and then my y terms. So I have negative 5x plus y is equal to, they cancel from this side, is equal to 2. Now you might also need to have no negative lead coefficient for standard form. If that's the case, we're also going to divide by negative 1, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for all of these. So I want them not only to be integers, but I want a to be a positive integer. So a is going to be greater than 0 or equal to zero would be fine too. Okay, so if I divide everybody by a negative one, then I end up with this in standard form, and that's gonna be positive five X minus Y is equal to negative two. Let's go ahead and do a second example. So in the second one, I again have slope intercept form. I need to move this one half X to the other side. So I'm gonna subtract that one half X and this gives me y minus 1 half x, but I'm going to put the 1 half x first. So 1 half x plus y is equal to a positive 3. Now I'm almost there, but I need integer coefficients, no fractions. And I also want that lead coefficient to be a positive. So to clear denominators, I would need that common denominator. There's only one of them, which would be a 2, but I also want to get rid of that negative sign. So I'm going to multiply everybody by a negative 2. So everybody on the left is going to get multiplied by negative 2, and the 3 on the other side is going to get multiplied by a negative 2. Let's go ahead and bring this through. So negative 2 times negative 1 half, those cancel, and I end up with just my x. And then negative 2 times y is going to be negative 2y is equal to neg or 3 times negative 2, which is equal to negative 6. And I've got that equation in standard form. Let's do another one that's got some fractions in it. In this one, I'm going to start by clearing denominators. So I need to find that lowest common denominator. Well, those are going to be multiples of 10 and 4. If you can think of what both 4 and 10 go into, the smallest thing, then you're doing great. Otherwise, there's a really simple technique that you can use. I'm going to find multiples of 10 and multiples of 4. Okay, multiples of 10, that would be 10, 20, 30, and so on, just multiplying 10 by 1, 2, 3, and so on. Multiples of 4 would be 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times um, 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, oh, and there's 20. So I found that common denominator, and that common denominator is equal to 20. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 20. So I'm going to multiply 20 times that y, so 20 times y is equal to 20 times everything on the other side, so the negative 3 tenths x times 20 plus I'm going to multiply that 1 fourth also by 20. I end up with 20y is equal to, let's cancel, 10 goes into 20 twice. So I get 2 times negative 3, that's going to be negative 6x. And then 4 goes into 20 five times, so I get a plus 5. I am almost to standard form. I just need the 6x to move to the other side. I'm going to add it to both sides and write the 6x first. So we end up with 6x plus 20y is equal to 5. And that is our standard form equation. You've got this. Take a look at my next video, and thanks for watching.